Hello. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel. We just woke up to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So woo! Thank you guys so much. We are so, so happy to have you all here. We feel like you guys are all extended family and we're so happy to have you on this journey with us. Yes, we appreciate all of you so much. You guys have been amazing. You've been supportive. Yes. Everyone in the comments, the, the messages and all that, you guys have been really, really supportive and amazing. Yes. It's been beautiful. So amazing. Beautiful. And Ruby loves listening to your comments too and yes. all of your suggestions and just hyping us up. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so we're in Chiang Mai. So there's, yes. a, there's a couple of cool things to do in mm -hmm. Chiang Mai. Um, today we're going to a cat cafe. Yep. Yes. Which is... And and we have been to a cat cafe before, mm -hmm. but it was just somewhere else. It wasn't in this so, so country. It wasn't in this country. Yes. Um. So yeah, <laughs> we're going to go to one today. If it's different or if it's like the same back, like back where we like did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the cats over here are different. They might be. Yeah. Yes. We never know. They actually had a bunch of different types of animal cafes here, but unfortunately due to COVID, a lot of them, closed. Lot of them have closed down, some yeah. even permanently. So mm -hmm. that's, sad. that's really, really unfortunate. There was um, one that was a bunny one and it said it was closed. Yes. Yeah. So we aren't gonna go there. Yes. And then hopefully later tonight, we will get to go to a really cool market here. Yeah, it's a really, really famous market here. It seems mm -hmm. like it's only, it's a Sunday night market. So yes. it's literally only here on Sundays. So yes. we're actually lucky enough to be staying here on a Sunday. So yeah. we're definitely gonna go check that out. Yes. Hopefully get some delicious food. Yes. Maybe try some weird things. Yeah, yeah we're super excited and because this is the biggest night market in all of Chiang Mai. So yes. we should have a lot of options this time. And, mm -hmm. and there is like some bug kind of things that we're probably going to be trying <laughs> as well. Maybe, yes. If we can find it. Yeah. We don't know. We'll see. Well, I think Mama's not going to try it, but me and Bubba are sure. going to try it. Mama's we'll a scaredy cat. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Well, I'll, I'm going to try it, definitely. There okay. you go. I'm proud of you for being so brave all the time. Good job. All right, so let's Let's head out! Yay! So guys, we made it to the Cat Brothers Cafe. It was 100 baht per person, $20 for the cat food. We're going in now. Alright, you guys. So we just got our drinks, and this is actually Thai tea, right? Thai, thai tea latte. Thai tea latte, yeah. Which we've never had before, but we did hear that um, good things about it, that it's really yummy. Did they say it was like an orange tea? Which yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, yeah, so I got mine without sugar, and Tim's, of course, always has to have sugar. That's right. And I got um, a milk. Yep, <laughs> we got a milk. It's actually cool, because that's included in the price, so we pay the 100 baht, which is about 3 US dollars, and then you get a free drink and to play with the kids. How cute! So guys, we just left the cat cafe. Uh, it was extremely uh, interesting. <laughs> they, were, they were so cute. I for sure have there, a furball. There were so many cats, so when we left, I saw Lily hair all over. <laughs> yeah, they were all shed pretty bad. They were the fluffiest cats we've ever seen. They were yeah. definitely fluffy. And they were so big, but they were so calm. Yeah. The calmest ones we've ever seen. It was cool. Actually, one white one, that's, it's, it's, it bites him. <laughs> Bubba pet it, and it bit him. <laughs> it didn't bite, it was just <laughs> letting me know it was there. But that was really cool, and it was only like three US dollars, and it included a drink, which yeah. was delicious. It was yeah. super cheap. So it, definitely it worth it. For a sure. free drink. Yeah. We just left, now we got a short walk to the Sunday market here. Yep. 
So we're gonna go yeah. find some delicious street food. Yum. All right guys, so we made it to the Sunday market here. So when we first got here, it was raining, so everyone was like covering everything up and all that, but we finally found the food. We followed our nose. Yes. But uh, the first thing we found was a grilled egg. Mm -hmm. It was only 15 baht. Yes. And I really like eggs, so I'm excited to try this one. Yeah. We got one for Ruby, but she ate it all already. Yeah, Ruby devoured it. Mm -hmm. No, a little, it tastes like a, like if you were to put an egg like on a like on a barbecue. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it tastes good. Yum. But I really like eggs, so yeah. I'm pretty biased. What do you think, Ruby? Look, she finished it. I, I like it a lot. It yeah? looks really good. <laughs> good. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Yeah. Okay, so we got some uh, shrimp kebabs, yeah. some shrimp and some peppers, and then you put a little bit of spicy sauce on it too. So that sounds exciting. <laughs> You're literally drinking sweat. I know. That's good. Was that yummy? Great. Oh, it's so good. We just found some vegetable dumplings and we're getting some fried and some steamed. Hot. Yummy? It's good. Not hot. Not hot? Okay, then here you go. You can hold this, sweetie. And then these are steamed to try to be a little bit healthier. <laughs> <laughs> Just falling apart. <laughs> Whoops. She put a little bit of soy sauce on it too. Good. Strawberry smoothie. Yeah. She made it super fresh. Yes. It's good. Oh god, yeah, it's fresh. There's still little chunks of like strawberries in it and stuff. It's super delicious and refreshing. Especially with the heat. Alright you guys, so the next thing that we got are these open yakis, which are Japanese style pancakes. Yep. They got like some stuff in the inside. Yep. <laughs> Um, we actually got these before from the floating market and they were delicious. So we decided to get some more again. Mm. Yummy? This one is custard filled. And then Timmy this got one's blueberry. Blueberry, yep. It's so good. That's blueberry. Mm -hmm. That looks oh like a jelly uh, donut. That's literally blue. That's a lot of blueberry. Mm -hmm. It's so good though. I love blueberries. Mm -hmm. And that thing is filled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Alright, you guys. So we found a Halal stall, which is pretty cool, yep. and they sell the um, chicken dumplings. Yep. So they're called geyser. 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 Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It's like. And so they're basically fried chicken dumplings, mm -hmm. and we got a spicy sauce right here. Yep. Mmm. Those are tasty. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm hmm Ooh, the chicken tastes so good. Yes, and the sauce is so yummy. Oh yeah, this, that's really good. That's so yummy. Look at it. The inside just filled with things. That's so, so yummy. good, yeah. I could eat 20 of those. Yeah, those. That yeah. chicken is so yummy. These are delicious. This whole place has been so cool. There are literally like stalls for everything. Like you can shop around for so many different things. And then they have so much food. It's so cool. But yeah, they have so many different kinds of food too. And Stuff we never even heard of. Yeah, it's so huge too. Like, yeah. there's like street after street after street, intersection after intersection. Yeah. Like, it's like a maze. And there's like an alleyway to like what it looks like as a temple parking lot. Yeah. Cool. We're just surrounded. There's probably 50 food stalls right here. Yeah. And there's we're, music. We're about playing. to eat it all. Guys, we got a. Uh, Northern Thailand specialty dish. Yes. Called Kho. Khao Soy. Khao Soy. Soy. Called Khao Soy, yes. So basically, it's a noodle like um, soup. Ooh, look at those noodles. With fried noodles on top. So, and then this, we got the vegetarian ver version. The vegetarian one comes with eggplant. Yeah. Mm. Yummy? 
We're not very good with chopsticks, so this is gonna be interesting. I can't even do it. Mm. That's tasty. Mmm. The fried noodles really good. Yeah, the, the noodles are so eggy. They're like egg noodles. Very good. And then we got this spicy sauce. It says very spicy. <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit on it just to see. The eggplant's really good. You guys, if you ever come here or anywhere in Southeast Asia, get yourself a portable fan. <laughs> Especially if you have kids. Save them from overheating. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the next thing we have gotten are these fried fish cakes, right? Yeah. Fried fish cakes, so this is what they look like. The lady was just frying them in this big thing of oil. And then we've got a little bit of sauce right here. It looks like sweet and sour sauce. And then some cucumbers on the bottom. So this is, oh, oh one dropped in the soup. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. They're squishy. Oh, good. Yeah. The sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, those are really good. Yeah, so yummy. You can't even tell it's fish. Yeah, it tastes like meat, like the other one. It does, yeah. All the sauces here have been amazing. Especially the spicy one. Yeah, so oh, the spice is so good. So, you think Ruby like it? Uh. Dorica, you get one of these? Spicy? No spicy. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll do one of each. We can make that one spicy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, you guys. One of the last things we just got some grilled salmon on a stick. Yep. This one is a spicy one, so we are assuming that is like a wasabi sauce. Looks yep. like wasabi. Looks super and yummy, though. I got um no. I just got like the salmon. I got no spicy. Yep. yep. They're different kinds. So ready. Oh, it's crunchy. Mm. Is it? Yeah, it's really crunchy. Good? Mm. It's not spicy. Oh, it's not? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Very fishy. Mm. Yeah. It's good. Wait, no spice? Yeah, no spice, yeah. Okay. It's still good, though. It's good. Yeah, very crunchy because they, they crisped up the skin. Normally, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the salmon skin, but it tastes good this way. I normally don't like fish that much, but it's pretty good. Yeah, you like fish. No, I don't know. I like to be in the mood. Not lately. Like yeah. once a year. I like shrimp so much better. He says that, but I used to make fish all the time back home. So you never like my food? It was at this moment that he knew. No comment. <laughs> What's your favorite thing we've eaten so far? Pancakes. Oh my god. Pancakes. Yeah. The pancakes were good. If I can't pick the pancakes, I'll pick the uh, the cow Really? Yeah, I thought oh. that was really good. That was delicious. Fried yeah. noodles were delicious. My favorite thing is the chicken dumplings. Yeah, like the dumplings. Those were good. Yeah, those were really good. Mm -hmm. I forgot about them. All right, I'll switch to uh, <laughs> I'll switch to those. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, those the were delicious. Were really good. Those were so good. I would get like ten of those and just eat them. By oh myself. yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, good. So you guys, this place has been so cool. Like it is huge and you don't feel like, I mean there's so many people here but you don't feel like you're in anybody's way or anything. Yeah. There's enough space for everybody and it's kind of like not overwhelming. Like mm -hmm. if you were to go to a small market, sometimes it can be overwhelming yeah, because- yeah, yeah. You stand out more. Yeah, and here, no, there's just so many options and it's just so cool and the whole environment like, it's so nice. Yeah. It's not even dark yet. No, which we, is weird. Yeah, we came here pretty early. We came here like 4.50 because we yeah. just... Well, it started at 5, but yeah. we figured we got here a couple minutes early because we didn't know for sure where it was and we were yes. walking. Yeah, and we wanted to kind of beat the crowd. Yeah. And we were hungry, <laughs> so we, were we wanted food. Hungry, yeah. And everybody has been super helpful when we asked like about the food, being yeah. like vegetarian or like the different yeah, yeah. types, or just to ask them what the food is that they have. They've been super kind and helpful. Yeah. And a lot of it is written in English, which is so nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And they're all super friendly. So friendly, yeah. I love the people here. Yeah. They're so sweet. They really are. Yeah. I think now we're gonna end this with some mango sticky rice. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds so yeah, yummy. We actually tried mango sticky rice before in like the tour. That we did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did. And we've been hooked ever since. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. good. I don't even like mangoes, I thought. We literally don't even like mangoes. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's so good. But we'll eat all the mangoes here. Yeah, For some yeah. reason, they just taste so different than the mangoes we've had back home. So, I mean, if you don't like something, it's probably because you've been having it wrong. Because there are so many things, I can't even tell you, that we've had 
that we didn't like before that we just have fallen in love with because it just tastes better in different places or made in different ways. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go get some. Yep. We've got our mango sticky rice. Oh my God, it smells so good. Something so simple, but just so delicious. They basically put sticky rice with coconut milk and mangoes, of course. And then they put this crunchy topping on top that just, oh, I don't know. It just goes so well together. So yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so delicious. It's honestly one of the best desserts I've ever had. Yeah, me too. Really? You can't come here without eating yeah. mango sticky rice. Yeah. Alright guys, so we had a really cool day so far at this uh, Sunday night market here in Chiang Mai. But this is where we're gonna leave you guys. We're going to catch a grab home and relax because we have a uh, cooking class scheduled for tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go prepare our stomachs after all that food for more food tomorrow morning. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.